Hey guys, my name is Leo Grady, and I did my project on the Willow Island disaster. So basically what happened in this accident was a cooling tower at a power plant in West Virginia collapsed as the workers were working on it on the side of scaffolding. The accident happened in 1978 and 51 men were killed. It is said to be one of the worst construction accidents in history. Just like any other accident that happens in the workplace, many legal issues and questions arise. <clears throat> so first of all, rain causes concrete to cure much slower than typical, which that uh, ultimately is what played into the, the scaffolding collapsing on top of the workers. <clears throat> it made it difficult to find find any evidence on what happened right away due to the high amount of casualties there was no survivors that were on the scaffolding at the time <clears throat> so basically what happened is the cement poured the day prior began peeling off as the new cement was being hoisted up as the hoist that was hoisting up the new cement was tied to the to the ring that was poured the previous day um, the scaffolding that was being used was actually regularly inspected, so they knew that there shouldn't have really been any problems with the scaffolding. <clears throat> the contractor on site was the Research, Research Cottrell Corporation, and OSHA and MBS both carried out extensive investigations after the incident. OSHA made a total of 14 investigations. <clears throat> So some of the issues that they had was there was a very low amount of witnesses due to the high amount of casualties on the site. Uh, the concrete that was poured the day prior was weak due to the rain and could not support the weight of the scaffolding and the crane. And three, there was a very high casualty rate. Some of the legal framework that can be applied to the situation is any investigating being done should be completed before any decision is made regarding compensation. All investigating should be properly performed and documented so it can hold up in court. And anything found in the investigation should be presented to the court of law to be dealt with accordingly. As far as analysis goes, um, ultimately we can understand how the accident occurred, the concrete peeled off the building. We can understand who the people affected by the tragedy are, the families of the workers, the workers that were injured, and even the contractor is affected in a way too. <clears throat> ultimately we have to figure out how to compensate the individuals and families for the losses and we have to go through the proper lawful keyways to do so. In conclusion we figure out what happens what happened in the incident and how it was dealt with. We can use situations like this in the future to prevent similar situations to occur. We can uh, Use it as a learning process and develop new ways to implement a prevention of accidents of similar, similar cause. And these are the sources I used for my project.